right, the 2022 mock draft. Tomorrow's the mock draft, uh, the NFL official draft in Las Vegas. So we'll be doing the draft, my mock draft, before this dr- the draft goes. Shout out to Milo Davis for the idea. He is one of my close in friends and subscribers. So thank you for the idea. He's been. I know you've been wanting this mock draft. You go look in the comments. He has been saying he likes wants it. So let's get into it. The first pick out the Jaguars have seen Trayvon Walker out of Georgia. He's an uh, the edge Trayvon Walker. It's been a heavy edge class this year, and Trayvon Walker, Jaguars get it the second. They get their two number one overall picks um, two years in a row. Last year, they took Trevor Lawrence, obviously. But they get a good player in Trayvon Walker. The second pick is the Jury Lions, selecting Aiden Hutchinson out of Michigan. Um, Hutchinson, he's a good player. The reason um, I had the Jaguars selecting Trayvon Walker, um, they like the Jaguars like drafting, like, it. They'd rather have an edge guy. They like the long arms on the edge. Traylon Walker has that. And Hutchinson doesn't really have that. And he gets to stay in Michigan. Uh, third pick, t- I have the Texans lifting Sauce Gardner out of Cincinnati. He's a good pl- He's a good cornerback. And will help the Texans corner, um, you know, back in, in the corner. Um, f- fourth pick, I have the Jets lifting Ekam um, Aquanu out of NC State. He, I, this is also heavy offensive l- uh, class, lineman class. Um, Jets still need offensive linemen more than they do with edge, I feel like. And the fifth pick are the New York Jets. What I say that? New York Giants selecting Kayvon Thibodeau out of Oregon. Um, Kayvon's just such a freak athlete. He's just such a good player. And he's, he's just going to help this team so much. This Panthers, this um, sixth pick of the Panthers selecting Charles Cross. I feel like they need to take him over Evan Neal. Just because, you know, he's just... Charles Cross is just, I feel like, the, more like the Panthers guy. They'd rather have him than Ev, over Evan Neal. With the seventh pick, I have the Giants selecting Evan Neal, as Giants have a terrible offense lineman and need O lineman. With the eighth pick, I have the Falcons selecting Garrett Wilson. Um, they might, I think they might have to trade for a quarterback because I don't know if Marcus Mariota is going to be throwing to Kyle Pitts and Garrett Wilson, but pretty, it would be a good wide right receiver core. Um, ninth pick, I, I have the Seahawks selecting Malik Willis out of Liberty. Malik Willis, he's the best quarterback of this class. In this, I just don't. I feel like the Seahawks need to draft, like draft a quarterback instead of trading for one. Like they drafted Russell Wilson, but he was. Just, it's like do that. Maybe we can get Malik Willis, you know, to be that next guy, which I feel like they should do. Tenth pick, I have Jer- the Jets selecting Jermaine Johnson out of Florida State, one of the be- the third best edge, um, fourth best edge rusher in this class. He is a really good player. The Jets need edge, so they take um, Jermaine at this pick. The 11th pick, I have the Washington Commanders selecting Derek Stingley Jr. out of LSU. He was a f- like a really good player, out of um, all American player, freshman. He was one of the best corners, looking like one of the best um, players in college f- football. Had an injury, and yeah, he's still just such a good talent, and will be going high in this draft. The 12th pick, I have the Vikings selecting Kyle Hamilton out of Notre Dame. I just don't have Hamilton. He could fall still, but the Vikings really need a safety, and Hamilton might be your best option. With the thir- Tex- 13th pick of the Texans, I think Trevor Penning out of Northern Iowa. Um, Texans reported they want to build around... Um, they want to build around... Um, blanking his name. The new rookie... Davis Mills, sorry. <laughs> I, I can't believe I blinked that. I'm so... Oh, my knowledge just got a little funky. I'm so sorry, guys. They want to build around Davis Mills, and they need they should get some offensive linemen to build around him. Trevor Penning, good pick. 14th pick out the Ravens, selecting the Zion Johnson out of Boston College. And he's just such a good player. Um, He's a good, you know, he's just a good player. The 15th pick out the Eagles, selecting Drake London out of USC. He's Drake London's tall wide receiver, and he's really athletic, and he'd be a good player for the Eagles as they really need a wide receiver. You know, they have some good players. Not they just have like Jalen Rieger who hasn't been that good, but they they can pair that London and um, Devontae Parker. So the 16th pick guy, the Saints, selecting Jameson Williams out of Alabama. Um, he tore he tore his ACL in the national championship. But he's been making really good progress and should be back before the season starts. Um, the 17th pick are the Chargers selecting Jordan Davis out of Georgia. Obviously, he was one of the reasons they won the national championship, and he's a good player. The 18th pick are the Eagles selecting Trent McDuffie out of Washington. 19th pick, I have the Saints selecting Desmond Ritter out of Cincinnati. 
20th pick, I have the Steelers selecting Kenny Pickett out of Pitt. 21st pick, I have the Patriots selecting Devin Lloyd out of Utah. 22nd pick, I have Chris the Packers selecting Chris Olave out of Iowa State. They need wide receivers, so we'll give them that. Cardinals, I have the 23rd pick at the Cardinals selecting George Karlaftis out of Purdue. Um, the 24th pick, I have the Cowboys selecting Daxon Hill out of Michigan. The 25th pick, I have the Bills selecting Kier Elam out of Florida, his corner. 26th pick, I have the Titans selecting Traylon Burks out of Arkansas. 27th pick, I have the Buccaneers selecting Kenyon Green out of Texas A&M. 28th pick, I have the Minnesota selecting Boy Maif out of Minnesota. He And then the 29th pick, I have the Chiefs selecting Jahan Dotson out of Penn State. And 30th pick, I have the Chiefs again selecting Andrew Booth at um, Andrew Booth Jr. at Club from Clemson. With 30 birth, 31st pick, I have the Bengals selecting Tyler Linderbaum out of Iowa. 32nd pick, I have the Lions selecting Sam Howell out of North Carolina. This was a good mock draft. Um, I did a speed round there, but I'll tell you why I chose all of you guys. Lions need a quarterback. Bengals need that position. Chiefs need a quarterback. Chiefs... <sighs> They should have traded Tyreek Hill to the Jets. Maybe could have got the tenth overall pick. He may have maybe got, could have gotten Garrett Wilson, but you know, Dolphins. He looks way better than the Dolphins jersey. Let's be honest. You know, this was a fun mock draft. Um, it was. It took me a while to make this, but yeah. Here he is. It was. Ooh wee. Draft is gonna be crazy tomorrow, guys. Um, we'll see how it goes. And we'll see, I'll be comparing, like, watching it while comparing these picks. But I hope you all have a good day. And shout out to Milo Davis. Go check out his channel. But, yeah. I hope you have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.